Hi, this is Michael Eaton and let's see how to host a static website on Apache web server in CentOS and following other things which we try to observe and try to learn. What is a web server? Installation process Apache Web Server. What is static web page? What is static and dynamic web pages? How to post a static website on Apache Web Server? Now let's see what is a web server is. When we type uh, URL like www.google.com in the browser, the request goes to the server and this web server uses the HTTP protocol to serve the files, files like uh, HTML files, JS and CSS files are together to form the web pages to the users. This is actually the purpose of the web server is. And now let's see what, how to install a Apache web server. Before that, let's see whether the web server is installed or not. Looks like it is installed. Let me remove that. That's definitely the tool. So now let's install the web server. Yeah, install. This is uh, actually where as a, we are working on the local host, the local URL will be 127.0.0.1. So now we could not able to connect to the web server. Why? Because we haven't started the service. Let's see the status of the service HTTP. System CTR status HTTP. So what they're trying to say it is inactive. Now let's start it. System CTL start HTTP. Yes, it's installed. Let's check the status. Yeah, it's installed. We can see it is active. And uh, this is one of the process to check. And let's see actually the process is uh, running or not. So we can see the process list of the active process which is here. So now we can see clearly that the Shibri Apache web service is running and we can see the actual processes. Let's see as we have activated the service. Okay. Oh. With this testing pages. It is clear that we have successfully installed Apache Web Server on our CentOS Apache HTTP Server test page, which is generated by CentOS. Now, let's uh, just to uh, have one sample web page. CD. This is the place where we keep all our uh, static files here. 
no errors. We do not have anything. Let's just create a sample index page. When we type this our URL, you should be able to see this. Now let's refresh. Yeah. Now we can clearly see that this is our first website on our website. So we have successfully installed this Apache website as well. Now, as we thought to know what is static web page and dynamic web pages is. Static web page is nothing but the content which is stored on the server is not going to be changed and that is only visualized by the user. So, content will be the static and there will be no change to any user. Everyone sees the same thing. But the dynamic web pages are generated by the applications. It might be based on the users or the path or geolocations and different uh, variables or different elements these web pages are getting generated so the content will be dynamic and it will not be same for uh, two locations or two users so there is a difference between static and dynamic web page now as we saw here um, actually there is a simple web page we are already hosted a static website hmm. Now let's see to host a proper website. So here, let's see. Actually, we are trying to do here is we are actually downloading the files from the GitHub. It's a sample page, Bootstrap static website. And now let's see the output here. So now we, the changes are not reflected here. So let's go here and curl. Now let's move this index dot testing index and now let's move So we have taken all the output of HTML sample page because all the pages should be under 
HTML page. Now let's check this. So now we have successfully installed the static sample website. It's just a phantom and response website. Different pages also there. Okay. Thank you. In the in the next session, let's uh, create a virtual host on the Apache web server and try to check uh, host two websites. This way. And then let's see how to navigate from that. Mm -hmm. Thank you.